Good evening and welcome to Politics in Nigeria. We've been talking about different aspects of politics and what we need to do as citizens and how important it is for us to participate in the political process. Once again, there's an election that is going to come, out, uh, come up in February and this is the uh, by elections that are going to come up and INEC has released the timetable. Normally people, normally people don't focus or participate or are interested in this election because they are not they are off-season elections they are not part of the general election and all of that but for those who asked and there was someone who asked in the comment section how are we going to ensure that the national assembly does the things that are needed uh for the development of our nation rather than for their selfish selves and one of the very critical way that we can get it is by determining the not the kind of people that get into the national assembly and I will explain uh, in a moment. There is a tool that would have been used, which is recall. But unfortunately, with the way that the Electoral Act is, for you to be able to recall someone from the National Assembly, you will need 50% signature of the registered voters. And that's almost like impossible. Because that registered voter, as far as I'm concerned, it's not genuine. Our registered voter, it's not genuine at all. There needs to be an upgrade of that register so that we get authentic people. Because in those days, what parties used to do was that they inflate where they are strong. They just get, you know, a lot of double registration so that when they want to rig election, they will be able to have to just put in ballot papers and have something. But now that is no longer the case because there's always a verification that is done. So the register, the INEC register itself needs to be uh, verified. But then one very key thing also is the fact that we need to have a situation when the next, the electoral act, when there's an amendment of the electoral act, we need to have it amended that what can be used to recall someone should be 50% of the vote that they got, signature, 50% signature of the number of votes that they got. So for example, if 1 million people were the number of votes that you got to win, then to recall you, 500,000 should be able to do that. But guess what? Who are the people who are going to make this loss? Is the people that are going to be affected by this loss? So, very for us to get that change, it's going to get it's it's going to be like almost an impossible task. It's possible anything can happen. They can slot it in there without them even knowing that they have done it. Like we saw with the last the 2022 ele electoral act, where they actually put in something it's as if they didn't read it through. But coming back to to to, to what uh, to the to the other question, which is. How do we get them to do what we want? By first of all, ensuring the kind of people that get in. And some of the ways we can ensure the kind of people that get is during this by-election, this off-season election, where, you know, the whole drama and everything, it's only few people there. If we are able to concentrate, get credible people to run for office, and then concentrate our energy in helping them to get into office, that will help us so that we begin to have credible people in there. And then when they get in there, if they don't do the right thing, the next time we don't vote them in. We it's it's going to take a long time. It's not a one day thing. Because I see people who just expect that, oh, there's gonna be a revolution, and then we'll put in some people and everything will work in Nigeria. No, it doesn't work that way. Even if you do a revolution today, you put people in, I tell you though, those are baby monsters that will become monstrous monsters. The people you see in offices, they once upon a time they were fighting for the democracy of Nigeria. But because there are no checks and balances, democracy is all about checks and balances. Governance is about checks and balances. Like Dr. Alpez Akwesili would always say, there are two sides of governance, the supply side and the demand side. The supply side is given by those who are voted into office, and the demand side is made by those who vote them into office, the citizens. Unfortunately, unfortunately both sides have failed in their duties. We, the citizens, don't make demand. The people who are voted into office, they don't supply good governance. So we need to act. We need to ensure that we have this check and balance so anybody that gets in there whoever you are there's something i said oh, we expect him to do the good uh, the right thing no we'll make demands on you to do the right thing we'll follow you to do the right thing we we'll ensure that there are checks and balances that are making you do the right thing so that's 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 one of the things that's that that needs to be done or on that and so in this period what we need to do who are these credible people that we can get into office that are going to work for the nation, that are not going to work for their selfish uh, interests? And so that's what need, needs to be done. INEC, this is from the handle of INEC. It says, in accordance with Section 28, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022, and in line with the timetable and 
schedule of activities for the by-election and court ordered rerun elections scheduled for 3rd February 2024, the Commission today published the notice for the election. And so, one of the timetable is out. There are going to be uh, different things. The election is going to be on that uh, February 3rd, right? And so they've put out the different things that need to be done. Last date for submission of from EC9, EC9C and all of that, 10th January uh, 2024, 6 uh, p.m. will be the last. So that's when the parties submit who, those people who are going to run for office and all of that. Last day for publishing from uh, EC9, the list of nominated candidates, 17 January. Commencement of campaign in public by political uh, parties, 18 January. So from 18 January, they're going to start uh, running, uh, doing their campaigns. And then last day for submission of names of polling uh, unit agents for the election, 21st January 2024. Polling unit agents, very, very important, especially now that we have a judiciary that is in the pocket of corrupt politicians. You need to be able to get every single sheet from every of the polling uh, units that is signed and that you use that uh, when you're going to, to the court. Last day for campaign of political uh, parties is 1st February uh, 2024. This election is not for everybody, by the way. It's for a select uh, places. And these are the places. You have the senatorial districts. This election came by, you know, some places they have been rerun and, and all and, and all, they, courts have asked for rerun. Some places some people have resigned from office, uh, from uh, these seats to get another uh, office. Some places there are sometimes there are issue of death and, and, and all of that. So we have the senatorial districts of Ebony South, Ebony State. And Yobe East, Yobe State, they are going to have elections. So if you are from Ebony South and Yobe East, know that there's going to be election into who becomes your senator. Uh, please take part in it. Please participate. Please let's do the needful. Let's get in people there. And as we go on, these are the things that we need to begin to, you know, position ourselves as citizens to get the most credible candidates into into these offices into these places so by the way it it takes a long time it's not going to be a one day thing little by little by little yes we might put in the first few people they are not they might know you might not see the impact and all of that but as you keep changing it's like you have a dirty water you want to make it clean in a stagnant uh let's say uh place you remove the dirty water, put in some clean water, you won't see impact immediately. Everything will turn muddy, everything. But as you keep removing the dirty water and putting in the clean water, removing the dirty water and putting in more clean water, before you know what's happening, gradually you will see a change and gradually that, that whole place will be cleaned up. That's what uh, we are going to do. And so for federal uh, constituencies, for those going to the uh, uh, House of Representatives, you have Akoko North East, Akoko North West, Federal constituency of Ondo State. You have Jalingo, Yoro, Zinc, Federal constituency, Taraba State. You have Surulere, one Federal constituency, Lagos State. You have Yauri, Shanga, Ngaski, Federal constituency, uh, Kebi State. These are also, uh, if you are from any of these places, know that they're going to, election is going to come on February uh, for for your house of rep member please participate in it please find credible candidates and support them and let's get them in there and this is how we're going to do it and then for the state uh, constituencies you have chibok state constituency borno state chukun state constituency kaduna state and guma state constituency uh Benue state and so also those are from people from these uh, states know that your house of uh assembly member is going to be uh, uh, elected. So do everything that you can to, to ensure that we are putting incredible people into these places. These things, the, the project Nigeria is not a one-day project. That's why I see a lot of people who get tired. A lot of people who say, oh, it can never work, move on. Once upon a time, in the early uh, 20th century, 19... Early 19 something, 1908, 1930, 1940, I think up to 1930 something and all of that. Mafia were the one that used to control the political process in the US. There were a lot of corruption going on, there were a lot of things that were not working. But it took people focus for them to build what they have today. In the 19th century, there was a lot of corruption going on in governance everywhere and stuff like that. But people stood on, people made it work. So, nations that we see things are working there, it's not that they just woke up, they did a 
revolution, woke up and everything was working fine. No, people had to put in the work. And so this work, let's put in the next 50 years and say, look, we're going to do this thing. We might not be here to finish. We'll hand it over uh, to the next generation for them to continue it. But they'll be, they'll be, they'll, they'll have lesser work than we had to do and they'll make it better until the place where you now get in Nigeria where people will tell you that, oh, Nigeria used to be once this kind of country that was backward and people really will be surprised. Nation building is not a day's job and uh, it, it, it needs everyone to be involved in it and it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Giving up will never be an option. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye.